the first thing that probably you want to do when you start a photogrammetric process inside a structure from motion software is bringing the pictures inside the software and i'm going to show you in this video how to do that with agisoft metashape professional this is the workspace of agisoft metashape professional and i'm going to bring some pictures inside it and show what happens when you bring them into it you gotta go here workflow and then you got to choose between add photos or add folder in this video i'm going to show you add photos in next video i'm going to show you how it works with add folder but it's quite easy add photos it opens up a new window in which you have to choose the pictures that are stored inside your hard drive and bring them inside metashape i'm sorry because i've just noticed that my italian operative system just pops out um, i'm italian so my windows operative system it is in italian so sometimes it will pops up but um, there should be no issue because the software agisoft metashape it's in english so uh, the, the main part of these videos are you can read just english rather than italian so you get to choose the pictures that you need to bring in inside the, the software just click and drag or select them by control click or just select them all of them by click on the first one and then shift and click on the last one these are uh, some formats file that agisoft metashape is uh, is able to to manage these pictures are jpeg files but you can choose between t files png and also dng raw files from cameras that are capable of registering that site that kind of data once you bring the pictures inside the software something happens here and something happens here in this area in the in this panel the workspace panel metashape creates something that it's called chunk uh, i like to think a chunk as a box where the software puts the all the the products or of the of the process but also all the data that are necessary for the information about the data that are necessary for the whole process in this case at this very first stage this very early stage when we bring the pictures inside the software there's just a folder that is named cameras because cameras stands for image that's not the camera that at take has taken the images but there these are the images that will be processed if you click and expand this this folder you can see the pictures name with the their file name and then there's uh, two let there are two letters that's n a that stands for not aligned because the pictures are not aligned yet we need to do something more for having this n a disappear something happens also here in this in this in this pane that's the photo pane there are the pictures that we just brought inside the the, the software that are listed and are shown in this in this specific way as thumbnails you can choose between large medium or small thumbnails or you can choose between details in this case the the software shows you the much more inf more information about the pictures that are inside it so there's the label that is in this case the the, the file name there's the sites which is the, the 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 width and the length of the image it's not the sensor sites it's the sites of the image measured in pixels in this case we got 5472 on the longer edge and 3648 pixels on the short edge align and quality are just two columns that at this very early stage are empty we get we need to do something more for for having for for some information to pops here to pop up here in this column date and time that that stand for when the picture has been taken there's some information about the manufacturer the the dji stands for the the manufacturer of the camera that i use for taking this picture in fact 
these pictures have been taken from uh, the camera of a drone, the DJI Phantom 4 Pro drone. There's the kind of a model of the camera that's the combination between the camera, the sensor, and the lens attached to that camera. FC6310 stands for the Phantom 4 Pro camera. The focal length of the of the lens, the real focal length of the lens, then the 35 millimeters focal length. That is just an information that can help you to, un, to can help you better understand how much wide was the lens of the camera or how much narrow was the lens of the camera. Then there are some exposure information, f-stop, ISO and shutter speed. And then at the very end on the right side, there's the path where the pictures, the file of the pictures are saved in your hard drive. If you double click on an image, there's a new tab here that got the name of the picture, the file name of the picture that you just double clicked. You can zoom in with the, just scrolling it, zoom in and zoom out for better inspection of the picture and left click and dragging, you got just, you can, you can pan inside the picture and you can move, you can move all around the picture to see all the details of the picture. And this will be helpful in next stage of the process and we're going to see them in next videos, some next videos. But there are more, there's more information in here because due to the fact that these pictures have been taken from a camera that was attached to a drone and inside the drone there was a GPS that gave the information of the position at the file when the, when the picture has been taken. Due to this, there is information about the position of the pictures. And here, I just moved from workspace pane to reference pane. There's, there are a lot of information about the position of the pictures. Here you got listed the pictures, the file with a file name that's the same uh, of here. But here we got the information about the position in terms of longitude and latitude and altitude, but also accuracy. Longitude and latitude means that this picture has got these pictures have information about their position their two-dimensional position and these are referred to the coordinate system wgs84 epsg4326 uh, i guess yes it should be that and that's the altitude there is information about the elevation of the pictures this information allows you to see where are the pictures in the 3d space right before starting the process because if you click here on this camera show cameras you can see the position of the relative position of the the pictures or the position of each pictures in the in the 3d area of course there's nothing below or nothing above or nothing in front of these pictures it will pop up in the next stage but you can guess if the pictures are have been taken correctly especially if you just plan uh, an automatic miss mission with the drones and you can judge if some pictures has been skipped during the flight you can have uh, a very fir at first glance you can have a very first information about how it how it went on the field if there's something that you don't want to any longer inside your project if there's a picture that you want to remove just right click on it remove cameras you can select multiple pictures and you can remove them if you want to bring them back or if you want to add some more pictures inside the project there's no problem go back to workflow add photos and you just select the pictures that you want to add to the process and they are back inside the photo pane here and here if you click on an image it it's highlighted inside the 3d model um, the color goes from light blue from a uh, non-selected pictures to pink that stands for the picture that has been selected here and it works here and it works here Next video, I'm gonna import inside Metashape picture without any georeference information. And I'm gonna use the add folder option 
rather than add photos option. Thanks for watching.